am back with another Matchbox. Matchbox 39 in the series and in this video I'm creating 12 Grimold plays. As with all my Matchboxes, the dimensions and the website where you can create your own boxes can be found in the description box below as well as all the supplies that I used. Let's get into the lore behind 12 Grimold plays. 12 Grimmauld Place was the ancestral home of the Black family located in the borough of Islington, London. It was protected by the Fidelius charm. The house was invisible to the neighborhood residents and they had long since accepted the mistake in numbering which had landed number 13 and next to number 11. In 1995 it became the headquarters for the Order of the Phoenix, with the consent of Sirius Black and Albus Dumbledore becoming Secret Keeper. The Secret Keeper was the witch or wizard designated to hide the secret by means of the Fidelius charm. After Dumbledore's death in 1997, everyone in whom he confided the location of Twelve Kermode Place became a Secret Keeper, so the headquarters was moved to the Burrow. For this matchbox I decided to only create one room, but I will tell you about the layout of Grimmauld Place as a whole. The front door opened into a long hallway, lit with gas lamps and a large overhand chandelier. It was described as having been a grand entryway at one time, complete with ornate portraits on the walls, but by the time Harry first visited the house it was gloomy and cobwebby, with the wallpaper peeling off and the carpet worn thin. Of all the portraits, the most prominent was an enormous portrait of Wolberga Black, stuck to the wall via a permanent sticking charm, which had taken to screaming at the top of her lungs whenever she spotted mudbloods, blood traitors and half-breeds in her house. Unfortunately, they didn't do anything with this detail in the movies, even though it is an important detail in the books. The Order covered the portrait with a curtain to attempt to minimize her attention, but any loud noise would wake her again. Much of the decor in the entry hall was in the form of serpents, though there was also an umbrella stand made from a severed leg of a troll that Nymphadora Tongs was particularly prone to knocking over. On one side of the hallway was the dining room, which contained a wooden table with chairs and hanging light fixtures. It also featured a dresser holding the Black Family crest and china. At the end of the entrance hall facing the door, a grand staircase led to the upper floors of 12 Grimmauld Place. 
the wall on the stairs was decorated with a row of shrunken house elf heads mounted on the wall on plaques. These were former servants of the House of Black who had been beheaded when they had become too old to hold a tea tray, a tradition begun by Eladora Black. A door of the far end of the entry hall, a set of narrow stone stairs leads to the basement and the house's kitchen. Though less ornate than the floors above, the kitchen was still a large room with a large fireplace at the far end. Also in the basement, just off the kitchen, was a dark pantry, large enough for two people to stand in comfortably, and another cupboard of the kitchen housed the boiler for the house as well as creature's din filled with rags, smelly blankets and photographs of the black family. On the first floor there are at least three rooms, a bedroom where Hermione and Ginny once slept, a bathroom where Harry once ran when he was overcome with a vision of Voldemort, and of the most significance, the drawing room, which is what I'm creating inside this matchbox of Grimmauld Place. The drawing room was at one time exquisite, with large windows overlooking the street in front of the house, a large fireplace flanked by two ornate glass-fronted cabinets, and an entire wall covered with a tapestry of the Black Family tree. It was in this room that Creature stored Slytherin's locket when he couldn't get it open, and it was in this room that Harry, Ron and Hermione slept, Hermione on the sofa cushions, when they returned to the house two years later to hide from the Ministry.
The second floor housed at least one bedroom, and possibly more. It was in this room that Harry and Ron slept during their first day at Grimmauld Place. From the landing on the second floor, it was possible to look down over the banisters and see the top of anyone's head who was standing in the front entrance hall. On the third floor, there was a moldy cupboard that Harry, Ron and Hermione had to clean out, as well as at least three bedrooms. Fred, George and Mr. and Mrs. Weasley all slept on the floor above Harry and Ron's bedroom, and Mrs. Black's former bedroom, where Buckbeak stayed, must also have been on this floor since it is upstairs to both the drawing room and Harry and Ron's bedroom. On the topmost landing were only two doors, one leading to Sirius's room and the other to Regulus's. The latter was marked by a sign on the door, do not enter without the express permission of Regulus Arcturus Black, that eventually proved to be the clue Harry would need to discover the identity of R.A.B., which was hidden inside the fake locket. Both rooms had once been beautiful, with carved wooden headboards on the beds, velvet curtains and fine wall hangings and furniture. The decor in the two rooms could not have been more different. Sirius decked his room out in Gryffindor colors and banners and posters of muggle mo motorbikes and bikini-clad girls. In Regulus's room, slightly smaller, the decor, of course, highlighted his Slytherin, pure blood heritage, with a black family crest painted over the bed and newspaper clippings about Voldemort donning the walls.
And this is it for this Matchbox 12 Grimald Place. I really like this one. My favorite color is green and I do like the ambience of this room. If you made it this far into the video, make sure to let me know by leaving a green emoji in the comment section. All my social media can be found in the description box below. And if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell notification button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And of course, become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.